Hello, I'm Professor John Bordeaux at Kankakee Community College. I'm here with instructor Stephen Weber, and we are going to glue the fretboard onto our neck. So the first thing we did is we clamped the headstock down to our work surface. And second, we have made sure our truss rod fits into the neck and make sure that the flat end on the truss rod is pointing up and everything is down below the top of the, of the, of the neck. So next, we're gonna put some painter's tape. We have three quarter inch painter's tape. And I, add, I like color painter's tape for this. Uh, we're gonna put it right down the middle, seal it up, and the purpose is we don't want any glue to get down into the truss rod. That will hose that thing up big time. So we're just sealing that up. Now we're gonna take some glue. We're using some tight bond glue. We're gonna spread that down. We're gonna spread that down on the edge. We put one bead and we're gonna go around the end, down the other side. And a little bit on that end there maybe. There we go. Now, you don't want too much glue because we don't want it to squeeze out. And then we're gonna take our finger and we're gonna run it down And a thin line of glue is what we want. We don't want it thick, it'll just squeeze out. So you generally want paper towel nearby too, to wipe your fingers off. Then I recommend that you clean your fingers off once you get it spread out. And then once you clean your finger off, uh, go over it one more time and get it everything kind of smooth out. Um, and a wet paper towel, just nice. And then I usually like to go down one swipe, down the whole thing, uh, and kind of get everything thinned out. And that's all you need is one thin slice. So then, Clean off your fingers again. Now here's the critical part. Many students fail to do this. You wanna take the tape off, right? Peel it off because we don't wanna leave that behind. And so that's why I like the blues painter tape to say, hey, uh, don't use the masking tape. Uh, that tends to uh, forget to take it off. Now we're gonna take our fretboard. We're gonna position it on on here and we'll slide it back and forth a little bit. It's going to be slippery. And we have those story marks that we created and we're lining up those story marks. And those pencil story marks are on both the fretboard and on the neck. Then we're going to take that wire brad or the small nails and we're going to put those in. Once we get that Everything lined up, make sure the story marks are in, the brads are in. We're gonna lightly tap the nail down, not pound it in. We're gonna just lightly tap it in so it doesn't move. We need to pull those things out later. Okay. Now, we have, and hang on here, we got these, uh, go ahead and grab those uh, are rubber bands. They're 17 inch rubber bands. And uh, I'm gonna show you here that this is what I buy for the rubber bands, supersized bands, 17 inch rubber bands, oversized bands for big jobs. Uh, I think I get them from like Office Max or Office Depot or something like that online. And then we just wrap this around and we start at the end and we do a crisscrossing effect. And it's kind of best with two people, but we got, Steven's an expert here. And we're gonna go diagonally about every inch and a half. And we're, and we're stretching this rubber band as much as it'll go without breaking it. Because that we want the compression of the rubber band to hold the whole uh, fretboard onto the neck. We don't like clamps because the clamps, uh, can we get a couple out on the end there? 
And then we're going to go back the other direction. And we're making crisscrosses as we go. And you can see the glue squeezing out of it from the compression. And when we get to the end here, he's going to put a couple of wraps around the nut end there and then tie it off. And the, you notice he went right in the nut slot. And then he's going to tie it off. And actually tying it is kind of the hard part. He, um, you got to get it underneath there and make a square knot. And now we have used one or ran, and we like to use two. And it just puts more clamping pressure on and it covers in more areas that where there isn't a rubber band. So he'll just get it started again. You notice he's going in X patterns. And he's trying to make the X's where there is no rubber bands yet. And try to get a lot of rubber bands on each end. It seems like the ends are the areas that will want to pop up. So students tend not to put enough in the ends and they will come separated at there. So, you know, you're all thinking, oh, I got clamps. Well, the clamps put really localized pressure on where the rubber bands compress and, and it changes and puts everything into uh, an even distribution. And we're gonna tie it off here at the end. And now after we get it tied off, We have one more step to do here um, before we're done with this gluing the fretboard onto the neck. That is, we're going to take an old toothbrush and we got an old toothbrush here and we're going to take some wet paper towels and uh, we're going to just clean that off with wet paper towels. You'll see the glue is kind of coming through there. Now. The reason why we're doing this is it's easier to take the glue off now than it is later. And so we just got some wet paper towels. We'll kind of go in there with a paper towel, kind of clean it up, and using that toothbrush um, wherever we can to get in the tight areas. And it just does a whole lot better job of doing it than later trying to get it off when it's hard. So the best we can now, we realize you can't get everything off because the rubber bands are actually covering it up but we're just trying to get as much of it out of there as we can so that when we do take the rubber ends off, it'll be a better, cleaner uh, job. Now, we're going to leave these rubber bands on. You have to wait at least 45 minutes for the tight bond uh, original glue to uh, harden up, but we like to leave it on overnight because we're not going to probably be back working on this. And then we'll take the rubber bands off at that time and then you can move on to the next operation. So we'll see you on the next operation. Thanks for watching our electric building guitars here at STEM Guitar at Kankakee Community College.